I'm so shiny. This is all natural, baby. All natural. Hey guys. So today's video is going to be a little interesting. I'm going to try something that I don't know if it's going to work out or not. So today I'm going to try and style my hair with absolutely no product. And we'll see what happens i know there are people out there that like to just let their hair be and they don't like to put any product in their hair which is completely it's completely fine like you know you're not obligated to put any product in your hair and your hair can still look amazing even without product so today i wanted to try it out and see how my hair reacts um just because just because like whenever i don't put any product in my hair like if i if i leave my hair out after I shower and I'm doing my makeup like my hair becomes a frizzy mess so today I'm gonna try and style my hair in a way there's minimal to no frizz with absolutely no product well maybe a little product I don't know we'll see but if you're interested in seeing how this goes then stay tuned so I washed my hair today with my pure aloe vera shampoo and the conditioner from my curl makes line and I rinsed it out and then I'm, I'm currently, I currently have a hair mask in and it's the OGX Extra Strength Damage Remedy Coconut Curl, Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil Hair Mask. Looks like this. So this is currently marinating in my hair and it's been in there for about like 30 minutes. So I'm about to go rinse this out and we'll see how it goes. Based on the videos that I've seen, in order for this to work, there's a couple things that you need to do while you're washing your hair. First thing, shampooing only on your roots. I already do this. Um, essentially, you want to keep the shampoo specifically on your scalp because obviously it strips your hair. Whether it's whether it has sulfates in it or not, it's just safer for your hair um, to shampoo only on your roots. So essentially you would shampoo your roots and then when you're rinsing out the shampoo um then it like it coats the rest of your hair so i already do that um and then for when you're conditioning um you need to make sure that you're rinsing out your conditioning blah, 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 conditioning your conditioner with cold water so what that does is make sure that all the nutrients from your conditioner stay in your hair so I don't know if you've guys seen this anywhere else um, but when you're rinsing your hair out with hot water that's opening up the your pores the pores in your hair when you're stripping your hair like when you're shampooing your hair you're stripping your hair out of all that moisture and all the nutrients um, and then you're obviously trying to bring all that back with conditioner but when you're rinsing out the conditioner with hot water the nutrients kind of just get flushed away when you're rinsing it's highly recommended that you rinse your conditioner with cold water um, the way I do it that way I don't get my body all cold um, I turn on the cold water and then I just kind of flip my hair forward and rinse it that way and then I like scrunch the product out of my hair and then I turn it back to warm water and I tie it in a bun and that usually helps me out um, helps me not get cold water all over my body, but you know, it's all up to you. So I already did that as well. So now I'm going to go rinse out this mask and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I'm not going to lie. I rinsed out my deep conditioner and I put a little bit of conditioner back in my hair just because technically the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to shampoo, then you're supposed to condition, and then you're supposed to rinse out the conditioner and leave a little bit in. But considering that I used a hair mask in the midst of all that, um, I had to put conditioner back in my hair and I mean I put a, a tiny little little bit but it just kind of brought me back to when I was in high school and I tried not to use gel in my hair so I would just like leave conditioner in my hair and it actually didn't look bad back then so I'm a little hopeful so now I'm just gonna detangle my hair a little bit I'm just gonna run my fingers through just to get some of that volume because I know my hair is like really bunched up after I um, ran my Demon brush through it. Cool. Now I'm gonna take another microfiber towel and I'm going to scrunch my hair. I know, I know. Who am I? So I'm going to scrunch my hair just to get some of that curl definition. 
now that we don't have any product. All right, I'm gonna let this air dry. Who knows how long that'll take, but I'm gonna let this air dry and we'll see the results in about a couple hours. So, stay tuned. Oh, wait, no. Now let me do my edges. All right, I'm gonna take my handy dandy toothbrush and my Jelly Soft Curls. And now I'm just gonna fix them up a little bit. I feel like when for a hairstyle like this that you don't have any product in, I feel like your edges really matter. All right, nothing too fancy, just fixed them up. It actually doesn't look bad right now. Like if you look at it, it I kind of I expected it to look a lot frizzier. Let me just Yeah, I expected it to look a lot frizzier after I dried it um with my microfiber towel but so far it actually does not look terrible like if you look at it like the curls are pretty defined so far but obviously they're wet so we'll see what it looks like now i'm gonna go let this air dry i'm not gonna touch it and we'll see what it looks like insert clip of me blatantly lying to you guys and diffusing anyways back all right guys so this is what my hair looks like and I'm, I'm honestly in shock. It looks so good. I don't really know what's happening right here. Like this is just, guys, like my hair is so voluminous. It's a little frizzy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not like terrible, like my hair's really dry, frizzy, like. It just looks so effortless. Walk up like this. <laughs> Feels like, have you ever like brushed out your curls and just like moved your head around and stuff? Like that's literally what it feels like. It feels just like so, so airy. Like, I don't know. It just feels so right. Feels so right. This little chunk is giving me anxiety. There we go. Much better. <laughs> okay, so make sure this looks right. Okay. Look at this, guys. Look at this volume, and I didn't even flip it. Did it flip it? I want to try this again and actually let it air dry, but like it's nine o'clock at night, and there was no way I was going to air dry. I was hopeful, I really was but the execution was just not there. Um, but yeah, I love this. It looks amazing. I found a, a new a new diffusing technique. Ready? You ready for this? Put your socks on, cause I'm about to knock them off. So, when I was diffusing, based on my results from the previous video where I half scrunched, like I scrunched half my head and then didn't scrunch the other half so it got me thinking because I love the length of not scrunching but I love the definition and the structure of scrunching so being me and wanting it all I decided since I have kind of like I have I guess you could say layers so I decided to scrunch kind of like the top half of my hair and then leave this out so I was scrunching this and then diffusing this like just regular and I did the same to the other side so I would just like scrunch the top and then leave the rest regular because now I have the length that I usually get and now I also have the definition and the structure from scrunching like somebody give me a Nobel Prize because I'm a genius I'm a genius. Look at this. This is amazing. 
so I was also thinking while I was diffusing and illegally diffusing and lying to you guys so I've mentioned her before in one of my previous videos I think it was the video where I was talking about volume and her name so her name is Nubia Rizzo and she's the founder of the Rizzo cut which I mentioned before so she is a strong strong advocate of like use as little to no product as you can so she's literally like like a huge advocate of like just using like you know one product if you absolutely have to me being me like i just i knew i couldn't do it but after this like literally putting like I, like i said i put a little bit of conditioner mind you like i rinsed it out after um and then like these are my results from like little to no conditioner conditioner and that's not even a styling product and I'm super amazed so now I feel like I'm gonna try emphasis on try using less product next time I style my hair um, maybe I might actually follow the directions and use a dime sized amount but we'll see but yeah I'm in love with these results I feel like because I do have a little bit of frizz don't get me wrong but like I feel like if I were to use just a tiny bit of product like because I'm not my hair is not really that frizzy it's just really voluminous so i feel like if i were to use just a little little bit of product like my hair would look absolutely perfect like all this volume without scrunch i mean without what was it without fluffing like this this looks amazing like i'm totally in love with my hair and i'm so mad that i have nowhere to go but yeah guys so these are my results on my no product hair and I'm absolutely in love. I definitely recommend you to try it. Please try this out. I'm curious to see your guys' results. Okay, let me stop. Let me end this video before I'm like talking here for 10 minutes. Thank you guys for tuning into today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.